Now that our marbles are dry, we are going to use a chalk pastels to add a shadow to them. First, decide which side of your paper you want the light to come from. I chose the right side. So the right side of all my marbles are gonna stay nice and light. And then on the left side of all my marbles, there's going to be a shadow. So on the left side of each marble, I am drawing a scratchy zigzag line around the left half of the marble circle. And then I am using my finger to gently massage the chalk pastel to look softer. And notice my shadows are in crescent shapes. Once you have a shadow on each one of your marbles, you need to carefully cut them out. Try not to mess up the chalk pastel with your fingers and make sure that each marble comes out nice and round. We don't want any square or octagon marbles now. We want them to look round. Now it is time to get a brand new piece of paper and write your name and code on the back. Then take your freshly cut marbles and decide the composition of your picture. The composition of a picture is where everything is. So there are lots of options. You just need to remember that the light source needs to be the same for all the marbles. So the shadows need to be on the same sides. Once you've decided, take each marble and put a circle of glue around the edge and lightly place it back where you want it. Don't press the marbles yet. Here's how we're gonna get the marbles really nice and flat. We are gonna flip over the paper and give it a little back massage. Yeah, that feels good paper, doesn't it? Oh, and it looks good too. The only thing is these marbles look like they're floating. So we need to give each one of these marbles a shadow on the ground. Choose a chalk pastel that matches your marble and draw an arch that goes from the middle side of your shadow on the marble to the middle bottom of your marble. I'm gonna take a matching blue chalk pastel and mark the two spots and then draw my oval connecting the two. After that, color in the arch that is created with matching colors to your marble. So I'm using blue and green and then when that, once that's finished, take a finger and gently massage the chalk pastel using a different finger for every color. That way it doesn't get muddied up. Ooh, it's so beautiful so far. There's one more thing left to do for this ground shadow, and that is to outline it. So outline the curve of the marble and then the oval as well. Remembering to blend that line. Oh man, that looks so amazing. It looks like a realistic shadow caused by light shining through a clear marble. Here I go again. This time I'm using red. I'm going to draw an oval from the middle side and the middle bottom of my marble. And then fill it in with matching colors and designs as my marble. And use different fingers to blend the black and the red. Last thing I'm going to do is outline that shadow with black chalk around the edge of the marble and the edge of the shadow. And blend. I'm gonna let you watch this one without me talking.
The last thing we need to do before our masterpieces are finished are to add highlights or hot spots. Each one of these marbles needs a curved white shape or more than one on the right side of them. These are areas where the light is reflecting completely back at the viewer. So they appear to be white. Now our marbles are looking gorgeous. They look so 3D. I feel like I could just pick one up right now. I hope you enjoyed this project. I'm sure you're going to nail it. I can't wait to see what you do.